What's up YouTube, Sky that one guy here, and today we have a 180 card Yu-Gi-Oh! auction going on eBay. So all these cards in this video are going to start out at $1 bid, and they're going to run for 7 days from today, Monday, until the next following Monday. Uh, so 7 day auction, $1 bids, over 180 cards, and uh, some really exciting stuff in here. So if you want to support the channel, you know, I, I really do appreciate anybody who goes on my eBay page in the link below and uh, checks out these items and bids even you know there will be cards for collectors of every budget you know even if you only got 10 or 15 bucks you can still win a graded card for 10 or 15 bucks there'll be plenty of cheap ones there'll be ones under 25 bucks there'll be ones you know under 50 and there'll be some high-end ones for the collectors with a much larger budget so hopefully something for everybody in here and uh hope everybody had an awesome christmas yesterday if you celebrate it um and happy holidays everyone so uh, the last thing I'll say before we get into the cards is I usually have these cards in order, like the PSA 10s, PSA 9s. Uh, this time I didn't get around to doing that, so hopefully you guys don't mind just watching the whole video. It's kind of going to be a little messy. There will be lower grades, mid grades, high grades, all mixed together. So here we go. First card, one of my favorites of the entire auction, Arm Dragon Level 10, PSA 10, First Edition, Duels Pack, Chaz Princeton. This is uh, this card's original printing. Um, some consider it max rarity. I know there's an ultimate rare, but this is like the original 2006 compared to a newer one. Um, so yeah, card's like 15 years old. Really cool card. Uh, we also have a... Oh, did I start out with that up there? I was using that as a test. That wasn't supposed to be there. Whoops. Uh, right Arm of the Forbidden One. PSA 10 LOB. This is original LOB. Not a reprint. This is 2002 original Gem Mint Right Arm. So yeah, 20 years old, very cool. Then we have Harpy Lady, PSA 10, Metal Raiders, first edition, uncensored artwork. Very cool. And Star Eater, PSA 10, Judgment of Light cover card, secret rare. Got a PSA 8, Slifer. This is the secret rare uh, worldwide edition promo from the Game Boy. So this is, uh, you had to, uh, this was only like the first print or something. It, it's, uh, it's a more rare variant than the ultra rares, is what I'm trying to say here. So then we got Invader of the Thrones, first edition Magic Ruler, PSA 10 Gem Mint. So OG Magic Ruler, first ed. And that is, uh, again, 20 year old card. And we've got Invader of Darkness, secret rare, first edition Gem Mint, Invasion of Chaos, first edition. So Invasion of Chaos, very expensive set to open. And that's a Gem Mint copy. So. Pretty good first little pile here. Now we're just going to start going through here at random. The rest of the cards are not sorted in any way. So here we go. Cyberdark Keel. Cyberdark Impact Super Rare First Edition. Jim Mint. Elemental Hero Storm Neos. Awesome looking card. PSA 9. Phantom Darkness. Very old set. Teen Summon School. Original 2002 Magic Ruler, not Spell Ruler, not a reprint. It's the original PSA 9. Got a Dark Magician Girl Lost Art promo. This is the 2020 Lost Art, not the EN035 reprint. This is the original. Got a PSA 9, Invasion of Chaos, DD Scout Plane, first edition. So, PSA 9s, you know, that's like as close as you can get to a gem and uh, for a fraction of the price. So, perfect for collectors on a budget. Got a PSA 8, Dark Room of Nightmare, Phronic Guardian, 1st Edition. These, these hollows are all, you know, almost 20 years old now. For, you know, a lot of them will end very cheap. So, this is another one of my favorites from the auction. Inferno Fire Blast, PSA 10, Gem Mint, Soul of the Duelist. With that awesome red eyes there. I think we'll put this one on the wall for now. Okay, Agent of Judgment, Saturn, PSA 9. Ancient Sanctuary Ultra Rare, number 62, Ultimate Rare, PSA 9, say original 2002 Mystical Elf, so again, not a reprint, okay, Let's keep going, got a few Exodia pieces here, I think, so an Exodia Head, PSA 8, Exodia Head, PSA 4, and a PSA 5, so lots of Exodia pieces here. Left arm, PSA 3, that's the original. 
a PSA 7 left arm, PSA 5 right leg, PSA 4 right arm. That's the original. So, and there's more pieces coming up. I don't know why they're not in order, but uh, yeah, you could definitely make a set of an Exodi in there. Here's a Jim Mint Majestic Star Dragon. Awesome synchro card from Stardust Overdrive. Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder. PSA 9 from its original set, Shadow Infinity. Dark Lucius, level 8. Cyber Dark Impact. Pretty expensive uh, Ultimate Rare, just ungraded. So. Um, and a Gaia the Dragon Champion, PSA 8 from LOB. Okay. Done a few videos in a row here. Probably should have took a break to grab a drink. But that's okay. Right Leg of the Forbidden One. This is a Euro Print, PSA 8. First edition, LOB, 2002. So that's really cool. Uh, this Raigeki is the EN variant. So this is the Worldwide Edition 2004. Really rare variant. Uh, a lot of a lot of collectors have been going for those. The EN. They only come from a few specific products. So it's a nice variant of the LOB. Here's a Black Rose Dragon Crossroads of Chaos PSA 8. Original printing. Very iconic card. Here's a Spanish Horus Level 6 PSA 10. Had some Spanish packs from a collection I bought and uh, pulled this and a graded 10, so pretty cool. Here's a big one, Toon World, one of my favorite cards from Magic Ruler. PSA 10, original Magic Ruler 2002. Red... Uh, red Dragon Archfiend PSA 9 from the Collector's 10. These 10s are like insanely expensive for the sealed ones, so really hard to find those promos in mint condition. Here's a original Thousand Eyes Restrict. Pharaoh's Servant 2002, again, 20 years old. PSA 9 Mint. Blackwing Dragon. Cover card for the Shining Darkness. PSA 9 Mint, first edition. Chaos Goddess, very cool card. This is, uh, I think it's like a $50 or $60 card, just ungraded, so... Pretty valuable card. PSA 8, not a high grade, but a uh, really cool card. And here's a really good one to finish this pile. Swords of Villain Light, PSA 8, first edition with the hollow line here. Some collectors pay more for that, some don't, I'm not sure. But uh, otherwise, really clean card. PSA 8, first edition LOB. We'll put that up for a second. Okay, let's see. more here dark magician psa 10 ultimate rare very cool i've got another exodia a couple more exodia pieces here exodia the forbidden one psa 9 right leg of the forbidden one psa 6 uh, we've got a psa 10 yazi this is really cool new challengers ultimate rare beautiful card this is a barrel dragon with the reverse secret rare misprint and it's got some really nice hollow bleed on it psa 9 from the 2002 valuable book 5 promo elemental hero steam healer for all you elemental hero fans i remember when this first came out i remember pulling it and adding it to my ear hero e hero deck it wasn't really that good but uh, i was really excited to add it to the deck for sure battle fader first edition ultimate rare psa 9 very cool card and a Gem Mint PSA 10 Ritual Beast Ulti Gaia Pelio. All right, keep going. Still got a lot of cards to go. Like I said, uh, it's about 184 auctions right now. I might add a few more. There might be a few playmats that aren't in this video that I add to the auction. I'm not sure yet. Watt Chimera PSA 10 Duelist Revolution. That set's really expensive sealed. I think a sealed box of that just sold for like two grand or something not sure if it was a real sale i didn't really look into it but man that's a lot um super vehicroid jumbo drill gem mint power of the duelist really cool card there teller knight ptolemaeus i know this got bought out and uh was really hyped recently i think uh stellar knights are getting some support or something got announced support so pick this gem mint 10 copy up for uh 
you know, anything else happens before the support comes out and it potentially rises more. Okay, I think we got, yeah, here's two of the biggest cards from the auction. So this one is an Ultimate Insect Level 7 PSA 10 Gym Mint from the Lost Millennium. I think this one had solds in the like four or $500 range, but I could be wrong. But yeah, really cool card. And then another really big one here, Quacky Miro Drago. Look at that. PSA 10 gem mint, population one in the world. Only one gem mint in the world right now. This is it. And it'll be at auction starting today, starting at a dollar bid. So hopefully somebody can bid on that and enjoy that. That's a really cool one. Okay, now we got a bunch of really big ones all in a row here. These are, this is where all the, the real value comes in here. Should have done this pile first honestly. So here's Pharaoh Servant PSA 10 mirror wall. I had uh, some $275 offers, $250 offers on the Pharaoh Servant Super Rays. There's three of them. So hoping the auctions will go around there. We'll see. Maybe they'll go for less. Sometimes auctions get overlooked and they go for less. Trap Aboard Eraser PSA 10. That's Pharaonic Guardian. Aha Vilo Magic Ruler PSA 10. Uh, Black Illusion Ritual, again, Magic Ruler PSA 10, first edition. Nobleman of Cross Out, I think I last sold one of these for over 300, so really nice card here. Dark Flare Knight, Dark Crisis first edition, PSA 10, awesome, awesome fusion card there. Then we've got a Creator PSA 10 from Rise of Destiny, Ultra Rare, cover card, very cool. Painful choice. Another Magic Ruler PSA 10. And Perfect Machine King Rise of Destiny PSA 10. So two of the best Ultra Rares from Rise of Destiny and Jim Mints. Okay. Probably like halfway done, maybe. Maybe a little more. A little bit past halfway. So now we've got an Amazonist Archers PSA 10 Magician's Force. First edition, Mazra DeVille, first edition, or er, sorry, unlimited, original 2004 PSA 10 Ancient Sanctuary. First edition Magic Ruler, so we've got like four or five PSA 10 Magic Ruler Super Rares in here. <clears throat> and all of these had uh, over $200 offers, so we'll see how they do in the auctions. Neil Berber, another LOB to AST Gem Mint card. Just a super rare, but still really cool. And Legendary Magician of Dark, PSA 10, World Superstars. Fire Princess, Elohim, Labyrinth of Nightmare, First Edition, PSA 10. And here's Backup Soldier, another card that I had. Uh, <clears throat> I had like two or three different people offering 200 bucks, so we'll see where it goes. <clears throat> Elemental Hero Neos Knight, PSA 9. Sacred Phoenix Elemental Energy Special Edition, PSA 9. We've got an LOB Dark Magician. Goyo Guardian from the uh, Collector's 10 promo. I think this was a Walmart exclusive, something like that. And Gursu. Orcus Mech Knight, PSA 9. Okay. Try and get these piles together. Karibo PSA 8 Metal Raiders. Actually, keep that over here. Got a Forbidden Legacy Dark Magician Secret Rare. Really nice display card. Prints really clean. Delinquent Duo PSA 9 Original Magic Ruler. <clears throat> Dark Magician from Yugi Evolution. D Boys from Photon Shockwave PSA 8. Salamandra DDS Promo Dark Duel Stories PSA 8. End of Anubis, PSA 9, Ancient Sanctuary, 1st Edition, cover card. That should be a pretty big one. Uh, SDJ, 1st Edition, Red Eyes. Fright Fur Bear, Ulti. Dragon Master Knights, Ultra Rare. Duelist Pack, Kaiba, 1st Edition. Really hard to find these in 1st Edition. 
Uh, Fiber Jar, PSA 9, First Edition Legacy Darkness. That's a really good one. I think even the ungraded of this is really expensive. And we've got a nice display Yada. Low grade, but uh, like I said, front's really clean on a lot of these low grades. Boris Raider, PSA 9, Collector's 10. There's a big gap from the PSA 9 price to the 10 price, so get your 9 for cheap. Tribe Infecting Virus, again, another card that's pretty expensive, uh, ungraded MFC First Ed. Much more expensive than most of the other super rares in this auction. Better PSA 9s. Okay, keep going. Neo Spacing Flare Scarab, Power of the Duelist, Gem Mint. Trap Jammer, Invasion of Chaos. Here's a big one, Blue Eyes White <coughs> Dragon, Shonen Jump promo, PSA 9. Awesome looking card with the world behind him. I think uh, these have sales of over 100, maybe close to 200, something like that. Still really, I don't know how much, but really cool card. Here's a big one, Fairy Meteor Crush, PSA 10. Uh, Jim Mint, Pharaoh Servant First Edition. This one was really popular when I had it listed. Heck, I got a lot of people offering on that. Agent of Force Mars, Ancient Sanctuary First Edition PSA 9, another AST PSA 9, Legacy Hunter, PSA 9 Trap Jammer, Invasion of Chaos First Ed Hollow, Nobleman of Crossout, Pharaoh's Servant First Edition Hollow, and Trap of Board Eraser, PSA 9 Pharaonic Guardian, Desert Twister, this is a big one. I think even ungraded, this card's decently valuable. Tactical Evolution, beautiful card for sure. Ulti first, PSA 9. Then we've got... There are two separate auctions, but we've got the Blue Eyes and the Dark Magician, both PSA 9. So if you want to bet on both of them, you could win them both and get the matching set. Both PSA 9, Ultimate Rare. Very cool cards. Okay. I should have put some of those PSA 10s up. I don't know what I was thinking. Spell Canceler, PSA 9. Metaphys Horse. It's a really nice looking card. I really like the ulti on this. Really cool. PSA 9. Here's a PSA 10 X Saber Gotham's. That's from the collectible tins. Decently priced sealed tin, so kind of hard to find. Neo Spacing Aqua Dolphin, PSA 9. Beast of Talwar, this is a Gem Mint, original 2002 Pharaoh Servant. Premature Burial, PSA 9 from Pharaoh Servant as well. And a Gem Mint Destiny Hero Dogma, Power of the Duelist. So, some cool E Heroes, Destiny Heroes, all kinds of stuff there. And let's keep going. Got some SDK stuff, original, the first starter deck, Kaiba. First edition PSA 9 Castle uh, Walls. Invigoration PSA 9. Where's my pile at? I think it's easier to just do that. Hain Hain, that's a PSA 10, SDK First Ed. That's like the first thing that was ever printed for Yu-Gi-Oh! SDK First Ed. Um, Mystic Piper, Secret Rare. I think the ungraded Mystic Piper, just the card itself, uh, recently got a buyout on TCG Player, so... Even though it's a PSA 8, it should still hold some decent value. Uh, it's a really low-grade Crystal B Sapphire Pegasus, but really nice display card. LOB First Ed Flame Ghost, rare. And a PSA 10 Sogan, SDK First Edition. Okay, so now... I think everything that's left is the Rise of Destiny. Uh, I guess we'll do these real quick. So we've got, this is a MCOL 40 Metal Field Center. I did one of these in the last auctions, but I had one more. I figured I'd give it another go. This is numbered number 90 out of 100. And uh, it was one of my most viewed items in my last auction. So really cool Metal Field Center, really high quality from MCOL 40, MCOL Games. Limited print run Dark Magician Girl. So that's really, really cool card. Really cool metal fields here. We've got three po or four Pokemon cards in this auction. We've got a Charmander City Championship and oops. And a Charmillion City uh, State Championship to go with it. So both same year city and state promos, 8.5 matching grades. Really cool. And we've got 
a promo Flygon winner, piece, or CGC9, and a 7.5, so a low grade and a high grade. So those are the Pokemon cards in this auction. And all right, let's keep going. So I think everything else is either from the set Rise of Destiny or from the set Soul of the Duelist. So that's pretty much everything that's left is these sets. So Monster Reincarnation, PSA 9, Silent Swordsman level 3, PSA 9. Uh, I think I'll just... Uh, Mystic Swordsman level 6. Very cool, PSA 9. Pestilus the Firestorm Monarch. Uh, Tragedy, super. Divine Wrath, super rare. Here's a good one. Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. PSA 8 Ultimate Rare First Edition. Another big one. Mystic Swordsman Level 6. Rise of Destiny First Edition. Big Core. Really cool one. And these are all like all the Rise of Destiny and Solo Dualysis. All the stuff's like pack fresh. So it's just the waxing on the back. Like they have the this waxing here. Just from the ulti foil stamp. So everything's really clean. So Dakochi, Battle Chain Locomotive, PSA 8. Again, I think that's a really expensive uh, ungraded card. Same with this one, Perfect Machine King. In my opinion, one of the top ultimate rares in the set. PSA 8. And a Suzuki Samurai number 4. Keep going on the Rise of Destiny. I think we're going to scoot some of these over here, though. A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. So if anybody wants a PSA set of Rise of Destiny, I've got like almost every single Ultimate Rare in the Rise of Destiny set in PSA 8. So you can have them all in matching grades. Almost every single card in the set in this auction. So pretty cool. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Harpy's card, first edition ulti. Serial Spell. Blint. This is a covering fire with a misprinted name, like, uh, not really a misprint, but a shifted name is what I meant to say. The name is much higher than the average card. So really cool there, shift, name shift uh, on the covering fire. And we've got a rare metal morph, chain bursts. All these are PSA 8s, so perfect machine king, silent sword in level three. This is a big core PSA 5. It has a roller mark right out of the pack. I didn't notice it when I was grading it because it was pack fresh, so I didn't really look into it too much, but still really cool. Kind of a misprint, kind of. Then we've got a creator PSA 6. Flawless front, very clean. Has some really heavy uh, waxing on the back. That's on the case, that line there. Has some really heavy waxing on the back, but a uh, really clean card, especially on the front. Tragedy, this is insanely miscut. Look how thin that border is. Pretty crazy. And Picru's Circle of Enchantment. Ultimate Insect, level 3. Perfect Machine King. Triangle Spark. And Picru's Circle. Okay, so we only have one last stack to go, and then we're done with the video. Okay, so everything else should be Soul of the Duelist. So this is where we saved some bangers for the end of the video, for sure. Soul of the Duelist did really good. Well, there's not like 10, but like a lot better than Rise of Destiny. Ultimate Insect level 1. It's a big one. Arm Dragon level 7. Look at that. Very expensive card. Ungraded, this is hundreds of dollars, so we'll see how an eight goes. And again, it's extremely clean. I mean, yeah, really nice display card. Uh, hollowed Life Barrier. Kind of running out of room here. I should put more cards in the back, but oh well. Cumber Soldier Lady. Greed. Nolan Void. So again, if you want a solo duelist set, I mean, this has almost every single card from Solo Duelist. So, for no Fire Blast, PSA 9. So now everything everything from here on is PSA 9, I believe. 
in this stack. Mystic Swordsman level 4. Arm Dragon level 7. The Ultra Rare. PSA 9. Horus level 6. English this time. And a Horus level 8. Ultra Rare. PSA 9. Very cool. Then we'll get into some ultimates. I think I'll just scoot these off to the side here. So Charcoal and Pachi. PSA 9. And last stack of the video right here, guys. All these are Ultimate Rare PSA 9s. Zark Mimic level 3. Mystic Swordsman. Always love these cards, the level cards. Mystic Swordsman level 2. PSA 9. Mystic Swordsman level 4. This is a misprint. So it's a PSA 9 Mystic Swordsman level 4, but it's hollow is shifted. You can see how far it's shifted there on the stars and the earth symbol. Way off. You can see his weapons off. The whole foil is just shifted. So that's a really cool one. We'll see how that does. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster. Again, these are all mint cards. PSA 9. Very clean. The only issue is like waxing on the back. Mobius the Frost Monarch. That's a huge one. PSA 9. Mind on Air. So if anybody wants to complete a Soul of the Duelist Ultimate Rare set, I've got almost every single Ultimate Rare in PSA 9 in this auction. That's like the perfect way to collect. Honestly, you don't have to spend insane amounts for PSA 10s, but they're still pretty much the same quality. So, Master of Oz, first edition. Spirit Barrier. Innervating Mist. Greed. Null and Void. Hollowed Life Barrier. Okay, now we're getting to the big ones. Here's an Inferno Fire Blast. Huge one. PSA 9. Awesome card. Ectoplasmer. Hammer Shot. Really cool one there. Okay, here's the last three cards of the video. These are big ones. Arm Dragon Level 5, Ultimate Rare, PSA 9, First Edition. Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 6, Ultimate Rare. And the Level 7 was in here, it's just, it got a PSA 8. Uh, Horus Level 6, beautiful card, PSA 9. That'll be one of the top cards in the auction, I think, in terms of views and then here we go Horus level 8 PSA 9 ultimate rare this card is crazy expensive really popular card very hard to pull cover card of solo duelist so that's it 180 cards at least might get it up to 200 items uh Yu-Gi-Oh auction starting today everything's starting at a dollar bid and uh it's it's all gonna run for seven days ending the following Monday and uh yeah if eBay, eBay link is below. Um, if you want to support the channel, this is the best way to do it. Just bid on these items. Should be cards for every collector of every budget. And uh, again, hope you all had a great Christmas, great holiday, and uh, happy new year. And thank you so much to anyone who bids. Um, if you watched the whole video, definitely let me know your favorite cards from this auction block. Mine's definitely like the Horus, the vintage PSA 10s, the LV to AST stuff, the Burrow Servant Hollows. The Ultimate Insect, Drago, PSA, or Population 1. A lot of good cards in here. So let me know your favorites. And uh, if anybody does bid on the auctions and you watch this video, uh, leave a note when you place the order. Like when you pay for the auctions, leave a note and just say, hey, I watched your YouTube or something like that. And uh, I'll include a freebie with your, with your eBay order if you win any of these auctions. So just uh, put it in the note when you place the order. And... Yeah, that's it. So again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate everybody. And uh, we'll let you know how these auctions go. Estimated around ten dollars to $15,000 uh, overall for everything. But we'll see. You know, only time will tell. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.